Hey everybody, welcome to Wayne's RC. Today we got the unboxing of the Avios King Twin. This is what uh, came on top of the styrofoam that holds the plane. And it came packed in just the regular shipping cardboard box. So, let's get it out of the box. Okay, this plane was on sale for $100 off and then Hobby King had a uh, $30 coupon for every $200 spent so uh, got this plane for $270 off. Here is the on the flaps. These are the flaps. With, uh, we don't have ball links. Okay. It's like uh, twin uh, connecting rods with the clevises on them. And here's the infamous clips where the outer wings clip on that usually don't, uh, the outer wing usually doesn't click in place. You got to trim a little bit off the edge of here or either that or the wing, but probably the wing because you don't want to monkey with the control surface there. Okay, well, pretty nice. That's really the only bad thing well, that, not really a horrible thing. You just have to do a little shaving on the wing to get it to fit, but the, the nose gear is kind of wobbly, I guess. But I already have a part on order, a uh, training link uh, suspension nose gear. Here's the quick guide. Looks like the hinges are laminated, so that's good. They're pretty thin, so I might add uh, some foam tack on there, or oh, we'll see. I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna try and click it in here. See if mine is like everybody else's. Oh, by the way, it's got the wiring harness and it's got a XT90. Okay, on my back for the camera. Looks like uh, aluminum spars in there. Should have my handy dandy uh, pillow out. Oops, not 
get dings on it. So. Let's see. Mine is any different than all the other people that bought this plane. Put a little foam in there. Servo wires are taped off, which is nice. stab rudder got a little uh, light on top nice looks like it just keys in and then you have one screw to hold it on don't know I might I might glue it or put some uh, double-sided tape on the bottom we'll see how good of a fit it is and this I have no idea what this is um, maybe it's a uh, vertical or a vental fin, I, I guess I don't know. Probably goes on the bottom of the fuselage. 
we'll find out. Here are the props. Uh, let's see what they are. Ten by seven, maybe. It says it on the box. Ten by eight. Ten by eight point three. And I guess they're the same as the uh, uh, albatross. Yeah, the albatross. And I think I still have some from my old one over there. Let's see. Usually on planes like this, you don't really break props unless something really goes bad. <laughs> but, and that can happen. Jets, but I also, you know, I, I like prop planes and I love twin, twin prop planes. But here is the uh, elevator, horizontal stab, and it's got plywood in for. I think that's how you put it in the. On it, I'm sure you glue it at the plywood ends, and then there's carbon fiber uh, reinforcement. You can see it in there. Ball links the kind that Avios uses. Um, once you get them on there. can't really get them off. I've tried and uh, you probably almost have to cut them off and just use d different ball links once they're on there. So I hope it's centered right. Probably is. But... Okay, I gotta move this stuff back, get ready for the fuse. probably rolling her eyes. Well, if she watches this video, she'll be rolling her eyes. Okay. Nice big fuselage. Not long, but wide. <laughs> okay. What's a oh. little pin and old camera behind it, holding it in. Okay. Hatchet came off. Pardon me. There's your servos in there. Pretty sure they're plastic gear. Yep. Not the best servos in the world, but. I've got tons of servos if I ever have to replace them. And here's the infamous nose gear. Wobbles. And you go on the nose cone, which I didn't see. There's probably some screws in there. Oh, let's take it out. We'll open the hatch for you in a minute. 
see what's in the goodie bag. Here's your screws. Take that for the wings, and this is probably for the vertical, the little ones. I'm guessing. Oh, they just must be your add-ons, antennas, or whatever, whatever they are. And there's your plastic cone. Blues right on there. This is a nice looking model. locking. I've never seen that type before. Got like a little tab on top instead of the two on the, each side of the servo connectors. There's that ball link that you can't get off once you get on there. Pilot in there if you wanted. Yeah, it looks like plenty of room in the battery compartment. Nice. Hopefully we'll get a maiden soon. Alright, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And have a good day.